Yo. Let's do it again. Yo. Joe. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. He fights for freedom wherever there's trouble. I need to pan the camera back and go on Sammy. G.I. Joe. Dun, 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 We had some problems with the editing. Now we're going to go on Sammy. Dan G.I. Joe, a real American hero. We have a new camera person because I just got the uh, vaccination, everyone. So we're super excited here, Moderna. Uh, so I have a sore arm, so I'm just going to do my commentating. And we have a new camera person here, so. All right, so hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. I'm Sammy from Sammy's Collectible Toy Sale. And today we're gonna be looking at the barbecue and Rikondo action figures. All right, we're excited about them. We just picked them up today, vintage. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's look at Rikondo. So some things about Rikondo. He came in wave two in 1984 of the GI, of the new GI Joes in 19, it started in 1983, but in 1984, they added a whole new wave two of characters with like Storm Shadow, Rikondo, and a bunch of new characters came out. So Rikondo is basically like a wildlife expert. He's really good at animals and like basically like wildlife kind of things. And recognizance, right? Rikondo, remember short form Rikondo for recognizance. So he's like, you know, on a special mission, especially going through the jungle. Revenge of Cobra, he led them through the jungle to the temple to go retrieve one of the parts. Right? Yep. Yeah. It looks like a pirate, it's cool. Pirate. Yeah, he's got the pirate hat. Like, he looks like a musketeer. I've always wanted Rakondo. Such a cool looking G.I. Joe. All right, let's pan back a bit here. Let's have a look. Um, so, um, he's not perfect, anyone. So, if you notice, we could go in a little bit closer. Yo, Joe, oh no, dun, dun, dun. He has a missing crotch part there, but not too noticeable because of his color. So, not perfect, but uh, I love this action figure. I so, love the gun hanging like on the side of his shirt there, I, and the holster on the shirt there. I love that. That's so cool. And then the uh, musketeer hat, the mustache, vintage 80s. Looks like Magnum PI. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And then his camouflage pants. We can get his camouflage pants. All right, load him up, Samantha, with his gun and his backpack to show everyone him some full stuff there. Love this action figure. This is a definitely a, at least a 9 out of 10. Yeah. All right, so we've put in the gun into his hand. So it fits pretty, pretty good. It's not the best holding, so it's not that great. 1984 right. technology. But, you know, we can put him in a pose. We'll play around with it. Yeah, so you can also... So I'm going to turn him around, um, and you see he has a hole hold on his back, and you can just kind of um, put a little back, back in his hand. So here's what it looks like. It's his little wildlife backpack where he probably has like things like for wildlife that he keeps in there. And his rations as well too. Yeah. All right. Let's see his articulation. I love it. He's got really good head movement. We were kind of playing around with that. Show the head movement. So he can move it this way and this way. He can't do a full 360, sadly, but it's okay. So he can move it like that. He can move his hands like this and he can bend his elbow. 1984 was a big year for action figures, everyone. What came out in 1984? G.I. Joe, Marvel Secret Wars, and Sammy? Transformers? Well, in the same Transformers from the year before. Super. Friends. That's right, well, superpowers, yeah. Think about it, everyone. Those, in, all in one year. 1984 was, Google it, 1984 was a revolution in, in like action figures. And also for the shows, too. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I mean, He-Man kind of started it, to be honest with you. He-Man really got it going, I think. He-Man and G.I. Joe got it going. So and Transformers could, and everyone just took off. And G. So that just, he yeah. can kick it and kick it back. Not the most stable, but that's okay. Okay, you can kind of bend him back and down. All right, he just lost his gun there. We're on those in trouble now. Cobra Commander's going to come get him. And then you can bend his knees. Like that. Cool. So you can act like, oh, look, he's scavenging. All right, so we're gonna be looking at barbecue now, which I guess for sure in my, for me is BBQ. So here's what he looks like. Um, so he's a firefighter and he came out in wave three in 1985. So he came out one year after um, Rakondo came out and he's a firefighter. So he, so if we turn him around, he comes with this backpack and he comes with a nozzle too, but I mean, it's, it's kind of hard, so I mean, you can kind of just get creative, wrap it around, put it in your hand, his hand if you want, want to. 
want to, but there's also the axe that you can also put it in his hand. All right, so for the articulation, you can kind of move his head, his head left and right. It's a bit more stiffer, but with his hand, you can move it like this, and you can move it up here, so you can kind of make it look like he's talking. So you can get the, like, oh yeah, that yeah, was about to say, right behind the axe, like it's in action. Cool! That is awesome. Barbecue is one of the coolest G.I. Joes. And then you could also bend his hips up and down. And, Love it. And then you can move his legs back, back, and you can bend his knees. Woohoo, that is so cool. He was always one of my favorite G.I. Joes. I don't know what my mom did with them, but I used to have them. So if I tried to do his head, um, it's kind of a little bit, it's a bit more stiff, but you can kind of just turn it a little bit and you can move it down. Here, and get him in a standing pose. All right, let's see what the axe. All right. So. All right. So we've gotten him in a pose like this. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good. That looks, oh my goodness, that is an amazing pose you got him in. Yeah. Oh. So, for, Dad, for you, who do you like more, Rakondo or Barbecue? You know what? They're both outstanding action figures. I've always wanted Rakondo because I never had him. Um, but it's good that I got basically Barbecue as well because I love Barbecue as well, too. He's from Boston. 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 He's from Massachusetts, so he's got the Boston accent in the cartoon. I, I love that. Um, he's a prankster, too. He has, like, a lot of one-liners. Um, sometimes they don't make real you know a lot of sense but you know he's just cool he's just cool looking right so you know he's he looks like almost like a cobra trooper but you know you would think he was you thought when you first saw him that he was cobra which is interesting i'm not like no he's not cobra because of the mask and just how he looks whatever but no he's definitely gi joe he's a good guy and he's from boston. boston we love boston by the way anyone from massachusetts or from boston we love you guys you know you guys have a great city so we, we're trying to do your accents, but we're, I don't know, we're Canadian, so we have accents, I'm sure, to everyone else, too. But I love this action figure. I, it's just, I give this, you guys ready? A 10 out of 10. <gasps> yes, yes. Sorry, right, everyone. And G.I. Joe fans, hardcore like myself, are going to concur with me. This is probably one of the best original G.I. Joes, right? So that's a 10 out of 10 for me. Sammy, what do you give this one out of 10? Mm. Deep in thought here. Oh, she might. There might be a debate here, everyone. Hmm. Mm. Not far off from you, but I do nine and a half. You do nine and a half? Okay. Yeah. All right. So do you like him better than Mister? Hey, what about me? Uh, I like barbecue better. I do. Okay. Well, I like Wakando as well too. So he's a nine, and barbecue is a ten for me. Solid ten. Easy ten for me. Awesome. So you know barbecue. When I'm in the jungle. A lot of deadly animals, especially cobras. You gotta watch those cobras. And also cheetahs. And what other animals do we find in the jungle barbecue? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, they're Wakondo. I mean, I, I just fight fire, buddy. Yeah. All right. There they are. Wakondo and barbecue. My question is, Wakondo, what do you mean? The cobra snake or cobra the organization? Haha, ha, that's a really good question. That's a good question. Barbecue got an answer for that one? No, I don't. They're Marcondo. Well, they are both of them. What other animals do you find in the jungle? Uh, elephants? Correct. All right, we're going on National Guard Geographic here. Okay, <laughs> let's say, let's do our outro here. We're having way too much fun on Barbecue and Marcondo. Okay. All right, there was our little skit there of Marcondo and Barbecue. Does that anyone give a 10 out of 10 on that one? Boo! Oh boy, that sounds like a 5 out of 10. All right, well, I thought it was funny, but all right. But, anyway, guys, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time we make a video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this is helpful for any collectors. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Yo! Joe! Yo! Joe! Yo! Joe! Joe! Joe. All right. Bye, everyone.